For RCR TV, I'm Sean Kinney, and joined today by Charlie Kinnemer, who's the VP of Engineering for Centerline Solutions. Uh, Charlie, you're in town for the IB Tough show down the street, but uh, you know, I wanted to just sort of get your perspective on the wireless ecosystem right now. We were chatting a little beforehand, and it really is incredibly complex and evolving and becoming more complex every single day. So from a, a managed services perspective, what's the breakdown? Yeah, you know, it's uh, you know, since my time in this industry, I don't think I've seen it more complex than it is now. Um, you have customer experience really shifting from being, you know, voice centric to data centric over the last really four or five years, and it's not just uh, data being speed, but also consistency. Um, you see the top line pressures that uh, our customers have now. You know, de they're dealing with uh, you know rate plan changes as well as service offerings that have changed, and you look at the general. Uh, market and there's convergence of markets a lot more players now than we saw you know 10 years ago um, but also with spectrum with uh, the content and services and um, so when you kind of look at our customer which is mostly network uh, engineering and operations uh, they're, they're dealing with probably one of the more complex and uh, demanding environments that they've had in the last 20 years um, you know, time to market is still uh, very much a pressure with uh, just exponential data growth. Uh, you're dealing with, um, you know, resource constraints, just finding people and resources to actually complete the work. And, you know, there's always been the bottom line pressure, especially now with top line changes and, you know, service offerings. So, but when you kind of lift the hood on it, it's the same challenges we've always had in you know, time, scope, and cost, and pretty much every industry has that. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you look at Centerline, um, we've been in business for over 15 years. And, uh, you know, we pretty much, the, the company was founded basically on that notion of, uh, you know, exceptional project management with uh, technical services. Um, you know, starting in Colorado, um, we basically uh, started this uh, several different companies that all found themselves in the same projects. Mm -hmm. And they were all self-performing the work. And uh, they kind of, probably about five years ago, it made sense, actually a little bit more than five years ago, it made sense for these companies to come together mm -hmm. and offer that kind of self-performing service uh, to their customers together. And, uh, you know, so we're doing design, we're doing build, uh, we're doing the modification work. Um, most things that a carrier or a customer uh, needs, uh, we tend to uh, support. Um, getting in the in-building space, mm -hmm. the outdoor, uh, environment we've always been there, but also into other customer segments. We're not just uh, focused in on uh, commercial side, but also doing quite a bit in, uh, especially rural and uh, government government areas. Okay, so you know you mentioned in building wireless, which is obviously the major thrust of the IB Tough show yeah. here. So give us an idea of uh, some of the services Centerline offers around small cell and DAS deployments for indoor. Yeah, so we're. Um, you know, the technology's changing a bit. You're starting to see uh, the big OEMs come into the play uh, space with some creative in-building solutions. But also, uh, you look at the DAS, uh, traditional DAS deployments, and I think we're finding there are more tools in the toolbox now mm -hmm. for our customers. Um, so for us, the challenge is to just stay on top of the options that mm -hmm. we can provide customers. But, you know, we're also providing those services, uh, and again, full, uh, turnkey uh, services for in building, but we're seeing that go to not just the carriers, but uh, you're starting to see it step into enterprise, and uh, you know public safety is going to be huge as well. Yeah, we've been talking to a, a few of the folks attending IB Tough, and and we've heard a, a lot from them about enterprise as the hot small cell driver in terms of deployments in 2016. Is that consistent with what Centerline's seeing? Yeah, it's uh, the cost of the equipment is definitely on the decrease. Mm -hmm. uh, so the solutions, I think, are becoming more amenable to, you know, an IT director, for instance, in a company. But also, even the, even the carriers, um, you're seeing these uh, uh, more cost-effective solutions. So I, I personally, I think the big push of the next few, uh, probably four or five years, is going to be getting into that in-building build, in building realm now. You're yeah. seeing transport costs go down as well. Yeah, so what, um, the, just from an adoption standpoint, help us understand what your clients want today and, and give us an idea of what you think they're going to want maybe next year or later this year. Yeah, I, um, you know, that's, that's an interesting question. Um, 
you know, today I think uh, within building, for instance, it's uh, very much about um, they're not really stepping as much into kind of the business to business support mm -hmm. yet. Uh, I think a lot of the venues have, have been taken care of nationally. There's still some universities out there with opportunity and large venues, um, new construction projects. But yeah, I think it's a shift kind of in our customers as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're seeing, again, new market entrants that um, don't have the experience in the wireless space where we can come as a company and offer that expertise. Mm -hmm. And you also mentioned uh, public safety as a uh, market opportunity there. Obviously, we've all been watching the first net RFP yeah. uh, come out and taking a guess at how that's going to play <laughs> out. But I mean, really, we're talking about potential customers are almost every building in the country, right? So how do you sort of, uh, from a business perspective, how do you address such a large fragmented market? Um, a lot more sales. Yeah. See, <laughs> Actually, sales people. A, a lot, a lot of partnerships, right? Yeah. Uh, there are other companies coming in that, that build these buildings and service these buildings, you know, property management companies. You have the big real estate investment trust that mm. do real estate, don't necessarily do wireless real estate. And you have uh, kind of construction companies that come in. So I think for us, and um, it's finding partnerships and you know, markets that we have good presence in mm -hmm. uh, ar uh, around a new new type of customer that, uh, and it's really, I say partnership, mm -hmm. because they're not, uh, they don't have the wireless expertise, and that's where Centerline can really come in and, and make a difference. Okay, and you know, I mentioned to you that uh, I'm always fascinated by the I'd Beat Huff show because they won't mm. let me attend it, but uh, <laughs> for the folks that are there, uh, what would you say some of the broad, high-level kind of discussion points have been this year? Well, I think I see that, and frankly, it's with all the carriers, and it gets back to um, densification. Mm -hmm. It's um, we are uh, data is a completely different beast than voice, and in order to you know exceed or at least meet customer expectations, there's um, a heavy need for you know really microcells mm -hmm. in you know outdoor environments. I mean, you look at some other networks in the country. I had a chance to work in Europe many years ago, and they had microcell on every block mm -hmm. because e voice back then was a challenge. And uh, you look at the data demands, um, I think it's really getting a very strong uh, strong presence with microcells, especially if we look at some of the spectrum that uh, you know everyone's starting to look at now, which is higher spectrum. You know, you've heard the millimeter wave, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to need a lot more sites, a lot more smaller sites with better, more contained coverage. You can't pull off data with just a macro cell layer. Yeah, and I think that's a really uh, salient point because, you know, we need that ultra dense network infrastructure today yeah. to support the trajectory for data right now. Yeah. But we also need to put it out there so that we're ready for 5G commercialization in the next, what, five, six years. So I, yeah. I got to think that the five, 10 year outlook for managed service companies got to be pretty bright because that's a lot of construction that needs to happen. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, it's extremely uh, it's extremely good opportunity for us. Uh, but at the same time, the companies that will, will be around in five years' time in services, in my opinion, are the ones that uh, are not just thinking about the construction of these sites, but it becomes more installation. Uh, mm -hmm. You're seeing uh, technology. It's getting a lot smaller. And, uh, you know, you could have a base station that's, you know, this big, you're starting to see it now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you it's a different type of resource. And you heard that if I uh, heard any of the HetNet conference this last uh, year, um, that was a big point. Different types of skill sets required to, to deploy this infrastructure. Okay, well, as we wrap up here, Charlie, can you uh, direct the folks watching to the Centerline website in case they want to learn more? Yeah, it's uh, www.centerlinesolutions.com. All right, man. Well, thank you so much well, for uh, talking to Ivy Tough and Small Cell yeah. Outlook with us. Well, thanks.